All right, scholars, I want to do a little intro here for the FET Generator Lab. So first thing is go to Google, type in FET Generator, click the first one that comes up, click Run Now, keep, double click to run it. And here we go. First click on the Pickup Coil tab. You'll see that you have a magnet, and here's a solenoid or a coil of wire connected in a closed circuit with a light bulb. Right now we have electrons that are sitting stationary in the wires. And what else do we see here? These little compasses are showing the magnetic field. And as I move the bar magnet, you can see these compasses changing their orientation. Um, now, we can try doing things like moving the magnet through the coil. And as we do that, you can see we get some illumination. We're getting a current going through. This is being a little choppy from my computer here, but usually it'll be more smooth on your computer. So there are some things that we can change over here. We can change the number of loops from 2 to 1, or from 2 to 3. I think 3 is the max. You can also change the area of the loop. You can make a larger loop and a smaller loop. You can also change the strength of the magnet. So as you can see, as I go to a weaker magnet, the magnetic field is just showing shown more dimly as a weaker field. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Show a compass, so we can put a compass um, in here as well. You can see our compass here pointing south of the compass, pointing toward the pointing along the field lines toward the north. And if I bring it up to here, yeah. Okay, I, I can also use a field meter if you want to see the strength of the magnetic field. These are things that we haven't really studied, but here are different units called Gausses. It's a unit for, magnet, for magnetic field. All right, there's another thing you can do here too. You can replace a light bulb with just a voltage meter and uh, move the magnet through. You can see that I'm getting a negative and then a positive voltage negative, then positive. And you see the electrons, they go one when they stop other way. So what we are producing here is called alternating current. All right, so with this setup here, I'd like for you to list as many possible ways that you can get the light to illuminate using the wire and the magnet. All right, when you're done exploring this, then go to the tab called Generator. And you have a similar setup, only this time the uh, magnet rotates. And we can make it rotate using falling water. And this is actually what happens in a hydroelectric um, power plant. The water held behind a dam is allowed to flow down by the force of gravity, and it spins a generator. And here we can also see the generation of electric current. We can see any current going back and forth. And uh, all those things that I showed you also work here. You can change the number of loops of that wire, and you can change the strength of the, ma of the magnet, and you can change also the rate at which it rotates. Okay. Um, so using this, answer all the questions that I posed to you on the, on, the, on the PowerPoint. So that looks like this here. And we'll go over these concepts tomorrow in class in more detail. All right. Have a good night.